Okay, we're moving on from step two now to installing the reflector halves on this steel frame. So this was step one, just getting the uh, canister and those U-channel pieces of steel assembled. And then from there, step two was putting this big frame that holds reflector halves, putting that in place and the elevation rod. The next step is actually bolting the reflector halves to this assembly. Now you can see on the reflector, this half of the reflector, there's two holes and that correspond to these carriage bolts. They are 15 sixteenths again. So basically it's the same as that nut in there. Okay, so 15 sixteenths. So one half of the reflector goes here. Those go through there to hold in place and the other half on the bottom. The reflector halves are labeled. If I have a look at one, there we go. We've got top. This is the top piece you can see there. And while I've got this out, you can see all the bolt holes. These are how the reflector halves are pulled together and held in place. And these are three quarter inch bolts. I have one here as an example. Uh, let's see, here it is. So these are the bolts that hold the reflector halves together. Do not tighten these. Only put them in and not even snug. Keep them quite sloppy because now we have to align the seams of the two halves of the reflector. So basically you've got the top half and I think this is probably a bottom half. Um, but when you bolt them together, this, this edge, this transition from the top half to the bottom half has to be smooth. You have to be able to run your hand over this and feel no ridge going top to bottom down or bottom to top up, no ridge. And that is accomplished with these little holes in the edge of the reflector halves. Both of the halves have these holes. I've taken these cosmetic caps, which look like this, that come with the dish. I've taken them out of two of the holes because once you've done your seam alignment, you can cap the holes as I've done here. So you can see the holes are capped. Now this is accomplished with these two plates they give you. These are seam alignment plates. They come with uh, nuts and lock washers and bolts. And what happens is you start in the middle. I haven't taken the little, t the little tabs out of the middle, but that's where you start. You start in the middle by putting one here and one here. Now remember the dish, dish halves are loose. So you put those in there in place and you tighten down the nuts on the back. As you tighten those nuts, it pulls, because this plate is attached to both the top and the bottom, as you tighten these nuts, it pulls the two halves so they're nice and flush, okay? So if I take this one here, you can see what I mean. So it just goes like that, it goes in the hole. That one goes in the bottom, you tighten the nuts, it pulls the two halves together so that they're nice and flush between the seams. When you've done that for the first two, which is there and there, you only tighten the bolts, these ones, these three quarter inch bolts that hold the two halves together, you only tighten them behind those two spots. Those are still loose and those are still loose. Okay, so you've, you've it's nice and flush now, these are tight. Now you've tightened your two bolts that hold the two halves together. Now just remove, leave this one alone where it is. Remove this one and leapfrog it over to the next set of holes. Tighten it down and it'll pull that section of the reflector halves together nice and flush. Tighten the reflector halves at that spot, the three quarter inch bolts. Now remove this one and leapfrog it over to here. And do the same thing and then leave this one in place when it's done and leapfrog that one over to here. And then once you've done this side, take them both out and you put one back in here and then put the other one there and then go the other way. And basically this will make sure the seams of the reflector halves line up perfectly. And once you've done that procedure, then you can take these little plugs and put them in. There, and everything should be nice and tight at this point, lined up and you should be ready to do your lineup tests.